Keith Vaz. I want to watch the pair of you go at each other like a sewing machine at a power surge. Chair of the Home Affairs Select Committee. The one so immune to scandal that they called him Teflon Keith. Well this time Keith, something has stuck to you and it's drugs and spunk. Now, the first and most important point. Does it matter what people do behind closed doors in the privacy of their own home? No, it bloody doesn't. If you want to come and see me on tour, does it matter if earlier that day I'd been smashing two Lithuanian lads wearing goat masks in my hot tub with an aubergine shoved up my bottom. No, it freaking doesn't. It's 2016. In fact, I want politicians that are flawed, normal human beings. That's what the rest of us are. However, if there's a conflict of interest, that's different. My builder who converted this garage into a weird study with a tinfoil roof. Does it matter what my builder Derek does in private? No. But if I found out he had a fetish for knocking one out whilst watching videos of buildings collapse, would I still hire him? No, I fucking wouldn't. Oh, look at those foundations failing. The whole conservatory's coming down. Uh. Well, that's what's happened here, Keith Vaz, the respectable British gentleman who looks like a horny version of Glowworm. If you don't know what the Home Affairs Select Committee does, don't worry, no one does. They talk about the administration of policy itself. Keith Vaz has expressed views on the morality of prostitution whilst using prozers. He teamed up with Amy Winehouse's dad to think about the harmful effects of cocaine whilst allegedly snorting it off a prozer's bottom. You fucked up, Mr. Vaz. He pretended to be a washing machine salesman called Jim whilst hiring Eastern European prostitutes to do his bidding. It is the most unerotic porno you can think of. I appear to have a problem with my rubber seal. I think it's gonna take you some time to fix it. Actually I'm Eastern European. It will not take me very long at all. String it out a bit and while you're at it put some coke on my knob. This is another disgusting example of British jobs being taken by Eastern European migration. British prostitutes for British politicians. It'll be bringing Eastern European diseases over here. What about British diseases? Scurvy! Rickets. He's not done anything illegal. Leave him alone. Exploiting two immigrant prostitutes to drug run for you while you masturbate in anticipation about your orgy. Even if that isn't illegal, it should be. Keith Vaz, a man who has had such strong opinions about immigration as well. We need to be very careful about EU immigration. We don't want too many immigrants getting in through the back door. Unless their name is Andre and Alexandru. Do me again, boy slut. Do me again. Were the newspapers immoral to virtually entrap the politician? Yes. That should be illegal as well. By the way, please don't try to entrap me. If you were to hire two really ripped studs and put them in a hot tub of doner kebab meat while I was wearing a minotaur mask and stripping, I don't want that to happen. The worst thing about this whole scandal is the visual image that the British public now have to carry in their head. Keith Vaz, drug crusading, poppers debating, prostitute law implementing, hypocrite, banging away at two vulnerable Eastern European male prostitutes. Bad, 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 